Hello, everyone. So today we're going to talk about ayahuasca. It's a really bumpy subject. Like I said in my previous video um, about plant medicine and authenticity, but it is a very exciting topic as well, at least in my experience, you know, and I do the disclaimer again there. Um, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Please don't um you know it these are just my experiences and uh whatever's for you please make your own decisions about that like there's no one to judge you there's no one to you know uh, just be authentic in your decisions to whether uh, do plant medicine or do it not and both is completely fine all right um so I just wanted to, there, there is this thing, I've done ayahuasca now um, uh, several times, and there's this thing that keeps on coming back into my experience, and I feel it's coming back in a lot of other people's experiences as well, um, which is actually, it is so funny because I think at least like 70% of my um, of my ceremonies, uh, it, it came back and it was this, this, I got to remember how we are all connected and how everything is connected and how every situation is connected to, you know, a bigger truth which is really for me at least that was a really calming truth that I really felt that we've been you know that I've been taken care of by the universe and that things are meant to happen like they do and it doesn't mean you don't have authority over your life it doesn't mean you don't have a responsibility over your life <clears throat> but this feeling of that I was taken care of by the universe that was like such a big thing for me I think I felt a sense of safety in this world because of it I felt a sense of um being seen as well and um so how how it specifically came into my vision actually during the ceremony was that I saw these three I don't know it, it is a symbol of life and of I think of the ever-changing stuff but it was this 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 symbol I didn't even know I, like afterwards I, I looked it up and I saw this this uh I saw that it was like this specific symbol with three different I don't know maybe someone can can uh, comment what the symbol exactly is I forgot the name but I looked it up afterwards and it, and and what I saw actually was like a symbol that actually exists and so that was like really mind-blowing as well but what well, was really interesting actually that I saw these these three layers these three uh and it was ever it, it was like it was always moving it was always moving it was this Big. And then I got to zoom into that and there was I in that ever-changing life experience stuff, which everywhere in, in which everything is connected, you know. And and I felt so safe in that and so loved by that as well. But it was also a sense of we there's no right and wrong. Like there is just, it it just is. Like there's no right and wrong, and I know that that's it's a tricky thing to say, and it's really because I do believe in having values and having standards and having um and that we that we have to live up to, you know, be the best version of yourself, and and being responsible for your behavior. I really do believe in that. Uh, but there was also this 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 really expanding view of there's no right and wrong whatever um you know a lot of things that actually happened in my life where uh were already kind of planned you know 
and that was that was for me really yeah well planned by the universe and of course I don't know if that's really true I think I think that's the mystery of life often we really don't know especially the spiritual stuff like it's a matter of faith like we we don't we cannot know for sure and we can feel things for sure and I think that's really helpful but that's just our perspective and I think all the words I am actually using right now are not you know, they're, they're a really bad mirror of what's out there. Like you can you cannot put that in words. And I think, I think that's okay. I mean, we, we try and we, we, we do the best we can. Um, but it's, it, it, it was such a beautiful vision that I had that life is ever changing. We, uh, and I am in this big, big thing with all the people, all the animals, all the plants, all the energy, all the, you know, everything is energy and everything is so big. And I'm like so small. And that was like such a big revelation. And it made me feel very calm as well. Yeah, and actually, there's there's also the thing because I I've been guiding ayahuasca ceremonies as uh, as well, and what you hear a lot actually, people saying after their ceremonies that they've seen that everything is made out of love in the end. There nothing exists without love. Like things start from love and things end from love, and nothing can nothing can even exist without love like love is the it's i know it sounds weird but like it's in our tables it's in our chairs like we cannot produce things without love and that's that's something i think you have to feel you know you can't really reason that because you have to feel the energy with you know for example a chair people have put love and effort and uh, knowledge which is all love like it's it's just another reflection of, of love um, but nothing can exist without love and that's that for me was like so powerful as well that we are surrounded by love and sometimes we we like lack to see it or we we deny to to see it or we don't think we deserve to see it we don't deserve to see the love that's what we think sometimes but you know you close yourself off because it is all around you and i think that's it's really special and it's really beautiful and then the third thing i um i wanted to share with you uh what, what i've seen and there are loads more by the way but i might do another video on it but the third thing i've seen is Actually, that um, how important it is to feel, how important it is to feel your emotions, how important it is to, and also be present with the emotions of other people, but especially your own, because you can only heal yourself. Like you can facilitate in the healing of others, but people have to do it themselves. Like you have to choose to actually go inwards and feel that emotion and. Um, yeah, and of course, I don't believe in drowning in your emotions, but being present with, for example, if, you, if you're experiencing grief, or if you're experiencing a breakup, then it's so important to take the time to actually acknowledge what you're going through and to acknowledge that it's, it's not easy, like these people leaving is not easy in your life. And um and and there there's also you have to um well you have to you don't have to do anything but it's helpful if you um acknowledge that these and take the time that for for a process like a chapter to end and um 
And often what we do actually, especially here in Europe or in America, we we tend to be so busy and to uh, to try to forget these these experiences without really processing them. And what I actually experienced uh, um, was that I had this this breakup that I didn't fully um, processed. I was just going on and continuing with with like my uh, with my work, with my studies, with you know whatever I was doing, and um, yeah, that was really really important to close a chapter emotionally as well to really feel the emotions to finish the emotions to finish that chapter fully before going on to a new one and of course it can be mingled as well it just depends on you as a person and your you know your your life journey and stuff like that but it's so important to actually feel your emotions to have your closure to yeah and that's what I experienced a lot during ayahuasca, that I got a lot of closure in that as well. And that's what I um yeah, that's what I what I wish for a lot of people. Because a lot of people are very still very resentful and bitter in life because they haven't closed, they haven't finished these chapters, you know. And you have to end the chapter. Uh, before you can move on with that same story in a new chapter and uh, yeah yeah that's my wish for you as well and it's not even necessary to do it with like ayahuasca or something like that you can just be present with your emotions right now like what haven't I fully processed you know why and and the thing is, as well, because if you don't really process the stuff, it keeps on coming back in your life, you know, it keeps on showing up in your new relationship or in your uh, new job, you know, if you don't really close off the previous chapter, it's, it can be tricky in, in your new chapter, it can be tricky in your new phase of life. Because you haven't really processed it. Because all these emotions are still inside of your body and still communicating. Like we want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to be, you know, acknowledged. And once you you see these emotions for what they are, but often we're pretty scared to feel these emotions. Um, but if you feel these emotions for what they are, they can be released. You know, you're free. They can be released outside of your body. So. A new experience can really be a new experience without being, uh, without having the past control you still. And I think really feeling these emotions and letting them outside your body, I do believe that's a really, um, that's a really important thing. All right. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you've experienced. Um, did you experience something like that like how are you <laughs> where do you see it come back into your life yeah let me know